Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning, Raleigh Katz, Marin Association of Public Employees. I don't know if I've messed up the script by coming up before Mr. Brown or if the plan is for Mr. Brown to come up after me. Um, several things I want to say, uh, and I think we need to put all of this in perspective. Um, I don't accept the notion that whatever the grand jury says has an irrebuttable uh, presumption of accuracy, truth, uh, and, and legitimacy. The grand jury is a group of people who volunteer to be on a grand jury, probably a limited percentage of our population because of the time involved, with no particular expertise in any of these particular matters. And yet when the grand jury speaks, that's supposed to be the final word. That's supposed to be the final word. I think some of the speakers today, and I think it was Supervisor Arnold who said before, will never be satisfied unless and until somebody says benefits will be cut or maybe pensions will be eliminated. We're supposed to take a grand jury report seriously that says in finding six, because there appears to have been a statutory viol appears to have been, not was, a statutory violation, future benefits provided by the enhancement may or may not have been vested. It may or may not rain today. I may or may not get home in time to have dinner with my wife that our daughter's going to cook for us today. The Warriors may or may not trade David Lee. That's a serious finding. It may or may not be. All you're doing today is responding to a report. You have the complaint a month ago or two months ago was don't have Woodside give you the report. He's got a conflict. Hire outside counsel. You hired outside counsel. You hired a management law firm that represents public employers and private employers who sometimes represents challenges to vested rights. And they came in and gave you a report and now folks don't like it. And they say they don't have time to read it, but they sure spent a lot of time this weekend reading it because they've been very prepared to respond line by line. So now they're not happy with the report. Now they come up with the idea, I guess you aren't even supposed to act on this because three of you are supposed to recuse yourself. So that only leaves two of you left to vote. Do they want somebody other than Mr. Woodside to tell you whether you can take action if only two people vote? Let's put this in perspective. I had a member of ours the other day say, he's 65 years old, he's been here 17 or 18 years, he's going to hopes to retire in a couple years. His pension, no Social Security, and the amount of Social Security he will get for all that work he did before he came to this county, which will be offset, he and his wife won't be able to live in Marin County. A number of other things were said today. I don't have time in my remaining 10 seconds to cover on some of the things like the current unfunded liability, et cetera. This is a thoughtful response you have provided. The fact that some people don't like the answer doesn't mean it's not a legitimate response. Thank you.